In this video, we're going to make a fire pit. So we've got some blocks. And the idea is to take one of these primitive blocks made from a cube and then uh, turn it into this arrangement. So each ring is actually um, a set of primitives created by the array and bend operators. So we'll start off with our mesh as usual. Go into edit mode, move it up with the GZ1. And then uh, we're going to go back into object mode and scale it. And one of the things you can do here is uh, simply add the array modifier, get an idea of what things are going to look like. That's the top one. And you can see that it likes to generate stuff by default in the X direction. So positive X on the X axis. And you can see that in the uh, modifier tab. Now we're going to add another modifier here. And this is the simple deform. And this one is a little different because it has twist, bend, taper, and stretch, and we're going to use bend. And then uh, in the top one, of course, two isn't enough, so we're going to make ten. Up the, so in the array modifier, we added ten items. And then down below in the bend, we're changing the angle, stretching it out a bit. I'm going to put in 360 for starters. And then one of the other things you can do is modify the um, offset by a little bit. So instead of having the array just generate them in the x direction, you can generate in the x direction a factor of 1.1. And then here we modify the angle to be a little less than 360, so we have some nice gaps. So really, that's it. Um, the only thing to watch out for is really with the modifiers you want to stick with the default um, as far as direction goes. So uh, I'll show you that later, but here we're just going to make the blocks or the stone bricks, whatever you want to call them, look a little more like a, a traditional one. So we're just modifying the scale a little bit here. Also uh, changing the relative offset to a, a slightly less amount so the gap's not as big. Now I do want to show you, so th here's the uh, what happens if you do it in the Y direction uh, with the bend around the Z axis. So you can see it looks pretty darn weird. When you just shut off the bend, you'll see that uh, or the view, the display of the view. You can see that uh, you know, the arrays modifier is fine, but it's just that bend just does not do what you'd expect it to do. So we'll turn it back to zero, and then go back to the X and put in a offset of 1.5. And I do want to show you that the Z works pretty good, so you can make like stairs. So here we're making spiral staircase. If you look down, it still looks circular, but so it goes. And you could you could rotate the uh, primitive and change it so that the treads were wider. And that's not an issue. It's just that for some reason, using the Y uh, axis for the array and then following it up with the bend modifier just seems to screw everything up. So if you ever get re weird results, uh, you might want to think about that X versus Y on the array. So just for fun, I'm beveling the rocks. Because why not? So it look a little more realistic. At least a little less precise or less analytical. And in fact, uh, one of the things we'll do later is we'll 
apply uh, a random offset to the vertices to make it a little, little uh, more natural too. So pulling in the X again, uh, we're going to put in 1.02. 1.01 I guess is what I used. Brings it in pretty close. Looks good. And uh, increase the angle to almost 360. Well, it looks like I did. Oh, yeah, I left it at 360. And it looks pretty good. Okay, so the next thing I guess was that we had to, you know, we don't have to, but you can actually go into Unity and use things with the modifiers still on. Depends on what what type of thing you're doing. If you're using blend shapes, it doesn't work too good. But uh, you know, if you're done with it and you're happy, you might as well just apply the modifiers. And you have to do that at the uh, in the object mode. So now I just went up to uh, apply a random offsets to the vertices. And yeah, I just wanted to say that that uh, transform vertice thing is under mesh. So in edit mode, mesh, transforms, randomize. And um, yeah, uh, the rest of this video I've just sped up uh, and I'm just playing around with the random random aspects.